This seems ridiculous, but this stops. Try to get on top. Wow! <laughs> That's not what would really happen. <laughs> What's up, you guys? We're in the new, um, the Iron Cage. That's for you Warhammer fans out there. Um, we're in the new place. So I wanted to go over a video and everyone can go to Jessamine Duke's channel, which is OK Gamer, and uh, complain at her about how she's a liar because she said she'd come here once a month so we could film these instructionals and she can't. So uh, I wanted to talk to you guys because this past weekend was UFC 269 and it was crazy. Um, and the unthinkable happened. Juliana Pena beat Amanda Nunez. Uh, she did what she does best. And that is carry a higher pace than the other girl. Like if, if Juliana Pena can make the fight ugly and an ugly brawl, she is better at that than pretty much anyone. Um, and Nunez got sucked into playing her game and got tired and it broke her. And the reason I say it broke her is because this rear naked choke that she had on, she had ample opportunity to escape. And I'll show you guys that now. What's up, you guys? This is future Shayna here, and I'm actually editing the video right now, and I was doing some research, and um, on closer inspection, I actually think the reason Nunez tapped wasn't because the rear naked choke. I think it was the jaw crank. I looked, and like, the submission is put on loosely, and she doesn't have hooks in, so there's ample opportunity to escape if it is the, the RNC, but... Uh, if it's the jaw crank, it makes so much more sense onto why she tapped sooner. Um, because if your forearm is in there, it literally feels like you're going to dislocate and break your jaw. And any amount of rolling someone off is going to make it worse. And it's going to, the tap is going to come a little bit sooner for that than it would any sort of vascular restraint. Because those take a bit. So, I don't know for sure. I'm just speculating. But after closely looking and zooming in. That's my theory. I could be wrong, but. So firstly, um, I don't know how this is going to be because the mic is here. So hopefully it doesn't get covered up by the massive forearms of my UK. So we're just going to go with the fact that the rear naked choke was on. Let's just say by all accounts, this was on. So put it on. So this is where Nunez and Pena ended up. Okay, she didn't have hooks in. Now, I'm sure, let go. I'm sure she knows to put hooks in and I'm sure she was waiting for the opportunity to do this. But so is everyone in this position. Go again. So the first thing and the ob most obvious and the easiest is, it doesn't matter how tightly she's squeezing this, there's no position. Okay, so all I have to do is block the here and get my hips higher than my head. Okay, and now this creates opportunity to scramble. So I can turn in. If she lets go and tries to stay on top, no. it's going to create a scramble. At least I'm not getting submitted. I'm probably getting punched to death. But the scramble is there, okay? Go again. Put it on as tight as you can. So the angle I created changed this. Because if I would have stayed, if I would have stayed where I was, if I, if I would have stayed where I was, I would have got submitted. But because I changed the angle, if you're off to the side a little bit, that choke doesn't work, OK? So just creating that angle. The second thing is when you see this uh, sit in front of me, when you see the footage, she doesn't actually even she doesn't even actually have it all the way tight like this. It's like this. And look, I can squeeze as hard as I can, and it's uncomfortable, but it's not going to make her tap out. This is. This wasn't here. I'm sure she was pulling. That makes it uncomfortable. But a world champion and one of the best fighters, um, that's not going to make them, them tap. 
So I think the jaw crank, it was the jaw crank more, and it was just that she was gassed, and Juliana does what she does, and she broke her. That's my assessment. I have a special uh, say in this because I've fought both of them, so I know what it's like to be in there with both of them. I feel like I have, uh, I, I speak from a, a better place than, than other people in saying that I don't think Nunez, I don't think she beat Nunez physically. I think she beat her here because, um, you know, I've, I've felt how relentless the pace and as, as not technically sound as Pena may look, she sucks you into that fight, you're toast. Um, she's relentless at that pace, and, and that's what happened, and we have a new Bantamweight women's champion. So I wanted to go over a couple of um, uh, escapes and things from when someone has your back and... Namely, when that choke is almost on, first things first, you should always protect your neck. Uh, that's the first thing. So you want to be doing that, always pulling down. But a lot of people, a lot of people uh, didn't believe when I showed the Y escape. <laughs> and I think it's because I didn't go into a lot of detail on why the Y escape works, but it does work. And if you've tried it, you know it works. Actually, if you've tried it, let me know in the comments because it's one of my favorite escapes from side. Just like this is one of my favorite escapes when someone's trying to mount when I, they think they can get my back. So one more time. So I have to block this when she tries to get up. If she can't get above her foot, she can't get up. And now I have the opportunity to beat her on the scramble. Okay? Next one, um, go ahead, uh, hooks in. We're going to go from right here, hooks in. So um, I have to clear a hook, okay? So as I clear this, I have to block so she can't get that back. So let's turn. Clear one foot, block the hip. Okay, she tried to put the hook in. All right, that's right. And you have to be aware of this. You can't just get lazy with it because she can step over and trap your arm. And this is still viable. So just be aware. I don't know how the mic is doing. Um, now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my side. Okay, block this, okay? Now, first thing, I do have a toe hold here. Grab the toes, not the foot. I'm gonna grab the toes, straighten my leg. Now, this won't get the tap usually, but sometimes it'll get them to move. And you can create a scramble again, okay? But, if that's not there, they have weird flexible feet like Charlie, or you just don't have the angle because of body type. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hand, reach, and grab the head. See how I'm grabbing her head? Or am I off camera? Grab her head. Now, as I step and get to my knees, I have to punch this, this elbow backwards towards the ceiling, okay? So I need to stop that from coming get here. And I need to punch this elbow towards the ceiling and come around. And now she doesn't have the angle, and she's got to let go, and I can get on top. Okay? So two little escapes for you guys. I hope you heard everything. It was kind of clunky because I have a non-grappling uke here because Jessamine Duke is a liar. That's all right, Jace. I got your back. <sighs>
Oh my god. <laughs>